what we want to do this morning is to take this kind of a building floor plan just to kind of give people a little taster of things and make it into a, a fancy high-rise. And we're going to more or less do that live for you um, right here. So I just went on the internet yesterday and um, grabbed myself. I searched for building floor plans and um, I was very thankful that the folks in um, Anchorage, Alaska make available, they have all the for, for their university there, they have all the floor plans for their buildings sitting there. And they got a nice numbering scheme. You can see that uh, the last digit there is the floor number. And so we can bring that up. I just brought that up in the FME viewer, which can view anything at all. And we want to click around here and see what we got. These are walls, um, walls kind of all over everywhere. That's And windows. OK, we got walls and windows. All right. So I'm just going to uh, get rid of this. And what we're going to do is make a transformation to take that and make it into 3D. So I'm going to go uh, drag that, that particular file here onto here. And I'm going to take a look at this. And that looks fine. And so we're going to say yes to this. And I'm, I'm creating an FME workspace. And all that I want, today I'm only going to worry about walls and windows. Uh, for my little example here, uh, and, so at this point, here. And, and so at this oh, point, and so at this point, Dave, oh, Dave, Dave you're broadcasting Dave, again. You're broadcasting again. <laughs> the, whoops. whoops. Um, yeah, that all right. So uh, he's got to mute himself there, Dave. Yeah. And so I'm going to. Okay, I got walls and windows, and what I want to do is extrude these. So let's get an extruder going. And. Uh, I need, what was, how many units did I say I was going to extrude these? By 50. So I'm going to basically puff them up into action. Up and down two extruders. Okay, and this one also is 50. And I think with that, I should have um, created walls out of those lines. So I'm going to connect an inspector there and one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this. And with any luck, it pops up and it shows me what we've got so far. And Kevin likes my gray background. And so there we've got uh, the start of something. But the, the appearance is a bit sketchy. Like when we're in behind, it looks, I don't, I don't really like it. How about you, Kevin? I don't like the gray background. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't accentuate the walls and windows. There. Yes. Well, what we can try to do. Um, let's, let's not change the background. Let's change the actual objects themselves. That's right. Thanks, <laughs> Kev. Uh, we are working on changing the background, but that's a matter for top people here at SAFE. So I'm going to put down a creator. Oh, I should have mentioned, inside of FME, we have this library of transformers here that do all the magic, that, that let us slice and dice data. That the, there's many, many of them. And so one of them is called the creator. And I can either find it over on the left-hand side or just type to add. And I want to make two appearances. So I'm going to make appearance stylers here. Um, one here, and let's uh, connect this guy up. Now the top thing was for windows, so um, I'm going to do the bottom guy first. Actually, I'll make this the bottom guy. And we need to set this. I'll, I'll set something for my walls. What's a nice boring color for walls, Kevin? Uh, if you look around our office, I'd say brown. OK. Uh, all right, that's a good, uh, good answer. So we'll go with brown for that. And um, I need to also add an appearance here. Let me just duplicate this guy. And I'm going to make an appearance for the windows. But I'd say I should go with something a little more, um, a little more bluish. How about that for windows? Yeah. And then I can do that. What's this alpha thing about? Well, that lets us change the appearance so that it looks transparent. OK. So we're going to do a bit of transparency there. And now, so I've got these appearances, and I need to put them onto my walls. I can click on here, and I think I have to do an appearance adder. Does that seem right to you, Kevin? Sounds very good. And I send the geometry to the geometry. That would make sense. And so the appearance, I can have a different one for the front or the back. But um, today, for simplicity, I'm just going to throw it on both. Does that seem good? I approve. You approve? OK. All right, so that's good. And we're going to drag this, and I can just inject that into here in the same way. Whoops, I connected it in the wrong way. I want this to go to the geometry. I want that to be gone, be gone, please. All right, and I need to connect that there and there. So with just these many transformers, with if any luck, we've got basically uh, the start of a 3D 
floor plan here. And so if I flip this around, okay. Oh, yeah. It's even fine on a gray background now, wouldn't you say, Kevin? I think it's wonderful. Let's see, our, our windows are somewhat transparent so we can peek inside. 